I think there are many necessary steps. Uh, I would I would I would mention two things which is important for me. Uh, uh, one is is to make sure that uh, whatever we want to transfer, we understand it in the human retina. So I think that mouse is is a, is a, is a nice species to start with. We can sort of fiddle with that and and uh, we can understand certain details. But I think when we are serious with translation, we really have to understand how our treatment is affecting the human retina. The retina is a computer and uh, your retina uh, has a lot of different cell types that are connected and performing computations. And we really have to understand how we impacting the human retina as a computer and not the mouse retina. We would like to treat humans and not mice. So that's first, it, that I think it, it, it's reasonable to start with mouse, but before translation, I think it's very important that we understand its impact on the human retina. The, uh, the second perhaps important point is that, that we need an unmet medical need. Uh, uh, sometimes it is tempting that we find all sorts of interesting things in basic science and we want to uh, come to patients, but I think it's important that we talk to our colleagues in ophthalmology that we really understand the need and to, to as it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to get to patients and we have to have a, a true unmet medical need uh, to invest our time uh, for translation.